At last, Calm Springs! So wasn't the secret path exactly as I said it would be? It was great! Say, uh, you know any other shortcuts? Well, hey, hey, it's Minister Snyder! Max! <gasps> Wayne. Max, I need to speak with you! Well, this is... uncomfortable. But since we're airing grievances, I must tell you that I think you're in bad form for starting something like this. What? What are you talking about? Don't pretend you don't know. Know what? That you're guilty of... What, me? Guilty? Enough of this. It's time to end your embarrassing charade of innocence. Minister Schneider! You must hurry. The Commander-in-Chief is waiting. Uh, but... Sir, you must understand how critical every moment is at this juncture. Go to your meeting. I shall detain these traitors so you can speak with them at length later. Very well, then. There will be time to talk later. Stopping this war must remain my first priority. I leave this to you then. Very good, sir. Now hurry. Wait! Max! Ugh. Now then, to the business at hand. Time to dispatch you before Minister Schneider learns the truth. So, you never had any intention of detaining us, did you? Now, now, such a pessimistic outlook. I did try everything in my power to take you in peacefully, but when you met us with unexpected resistance, we had no choice but to kill you. It's unfortunate, really. The Minister will be quite disappointed in your ill-advised action. Wait a minute. You're the one behind this, aren't you? What are you babbling about? You coward! He definitely knows more than he's sharing. All right. We accept your challenge, then.
Wait! Damned nuisances. You're not getting away on my watch, Minimax! It should have been right here. Captain, that's... I know, Arietta. What? You're still alive? The time has come to end that winning streak. Then I suppose your demise was just delayed a bit. Kill them and recover the artifacts. We can't let him get away. I'm certain your hostess for the festivities shall be most accommodating. Hey, wait! <sighs> He's more of a baby than the kids at the orphanage. What shall we do about Arietta, is it? She's controlling the Youngs. We need to follow the Minister's messenger, but... What are you all waiting for? Go!
I'm confused. Who in the world is she really? And what's her objective? Whoever she is, thanks to her, the messenger got away. What do we do now? We need to go to the kingdom capital at once. Hopefully we can make sense of it there. Excellent idea. With me as a witness, we should have no problem convincing the king. Riviera, you will come too, right? Of course. Kingdom Capital, here we come! But Captain, are you... Don't worry about me. I shall be fine until we reach the capital. Even though all of the medicine is gone, Captain? But... How can I make her understand? I know that you made a promise to your brother. 
I don't want you to fail at becoming an Imperial Knight for many reasons, but that most of all. This exam is a test case. Next time it may not be. You need to take the exam. I don't want you to have any regrets. Oh, thank you so much, Captain. Too much time has passed since we started this journey. We need to press on to the Bernstein capital more quickly. This way, please. Captain! Well, Charlone, this is what you've been waiting for. Do your best. Yes, sir! Oh no! Wayne! We must find a physician immediately! I will leave Wayne with you and go report to the king. Yes! Please, Riviera, you just need to get a doctor, and fast! I'll hurry. After concluding ten days of investigation based on the testimony of Xenos, all suspicions and accusations levied against Wayne and the others were dropped. Charlone passed the Unicorn Knight's entrance exam with splendid results. However, while this was happening, the threat of full-scale war with Rolandia grew much greater. Soon, Wayne was summoned to an audience with King Elliot. <laughs> 